For example, watch this. All my fingers are down and I will, I will take a screenshot with my iPhone. It can work on any iPhone, guys. iOS 14 and Apple, iOS 15. Watch this. Do you see a screenshot? Let's do it. Let's just plug it in and hear what, what the sound will be. One, two, three. Charging. You see, it's a charging when it starts charging. Hi everyone, in today's video I will share with you hidden features that will make a difference in your lifestyle. Guys, there is so many YouTube videos on hidden features, I choose only the, the one that will make a difference on daily use that you're gonna thank me at least for one of them if not for all. So let's start right now, look what I'm gonna do right now. For example, watch this, all my fingers are down and I will, I will take a screenshot with my iPhone. It can work on any iPhone guys iOS 14 and Apple, iOS 15. Watch this. Do you see a screenshot? It just took a screenshot. How did they did this? And much more into the video right now. So we're starting with the screenshot. How did they took the screenshot without touching the buttons on the side of the phone? As we all know, all you have to do is go to setting and now scroll down to accessibility, click on it, and then you look for touch. You see touch, click on touch and you scroll all the way down and you have a back tap, which means you are tapping on double or triple tapping on the back of the phone. So you can choose a lot of options what gonna happen with the phone if you back tap double or triple. So I choose for the double, double tapping screenshot. But as you see from the top, it has the first one, app switcher, control center, home, home, you can go back home, lock screen, you can mute, uh, notification center, reachability, screenshot, shake, you know, shake, it's for undo when you're typing. Uh, so it's good if you don't wanna shake, for any reason, you can just double tab the, the back of the phone. By, way, by the way, it's working for iOS 14 and now iOS 15. Spotlight, volume down, volume up, uh, sensitivity touch, which means it's, uh, you know, it's the, like the home button on the, on the screen. A classic invert, magnifier, smart invert, invert for, for, for black uh, background, speak screen, voiceover, zoom, scroll down, scroll up, and so on guys, there is so much you can play with this and be creator, creative. So triple tap, same thing, you can choose one of those options. Okay, that's only number one. Number two guys, is going to Safari. As you see right now on Safari, I always knew that in order to close all tabs, I have to swipe uh, right or left. But my friend showed me if you put your finger hold your finger on the same spot where you open the tabs pop up window will come up saying close all 45 tabs or close only one tab so guys that's amazing again just hold your finger on it for about a second and that then you can close all of them all the uh, open tabs let's close them right now with this uh, method so let's just uh, hold it and then close all 45 tabs is asking you if you want to close them yes and now uh, after one day automatically close tabs after one day after one week after one month don't close automatically that's what i will choose don't close automatically but now we have no tabs now the third one is when you're plugging the phone into a charger it will say whatever you want it to say you can tell them to say charging you can tell the phone to say be creative song that you like so let's do it let's just plug it in and hear what what's the sound will be one two three charging you see it's a charging when it starts charging so how do i do that let's jump into the screen inside the phone so all you have to do is go into shortcut application that built into the phone you see over here on the screen shortcut and then you go on the bottom it said my shortcuts animation or gallery you pre you you uh, uh, click on animation and then go on the plus on the top plus sign and then create personal animation and then you scroll all the way down 
to charger. You see charger on the bottom? And now you can make it say when you connect it and when you disconnect it, whatever you are gonna set it up to say. So let's do next right now. And now add action. And now on add action and search, you write speak text. You see on the bottom speak text. And now you gonna write whatever you want it to say and it will say when disconnecting or connecting. You choose. Okay, so let's write now, let's uh, type um, thanks for watching. Now hit done on the, on the keyboard and now you can hear it, how it sounds. And now you hit next and then ask before running, you, you shut it off, you don't want it to ask because then it's not gonna do it automatically. And then you hit done. And now when you connect or disconnect the phone, it will say, thanks for watching. So now that we set it up to say thanks for watching, let's hear how it sounds, guys. Let's connect it right now. And it's here, my, my microphone is here, so let's do it. Thanks for watching. Okay, now let's disconnect it. Let's hear. Thanks for watching. Again, it said thanks for watching.